power, pride and progress. The Afghan government displaying the diversity and success of the police to recruit more women. But there is another side to this, a side some police women say the government doesn't show. Allegations of rape and sexual abuse of female police by their male colleagues and superiors. It's rare for survivors to talk openly about these issues. These women say they are risking their lives to push the government to take action. می ما بگیریم چون اگر ای بار اینا را آزار ازیاد میکنه این آدم میتونه بار دوم کسی دیگه را آزار ازیاد بکنه به او خاطر ما نیاز دارم که صفوف با کاری بکنه But is the system strong enough to tackle powerful men? سراجسترین که از در افغانستان قانون تدبیق شده یعنی انتخاب میشه سر کی باید قانون تدبیق شده We find out why and how the authorities handle the sex scandals in Afghan police Carefully screening bags to prevent explosives getting into Kabul. A crucial task for these police women. A few years ago, there were no police women to do this job. Even today, there are 3,900 female officers in Afghan National Police. And recently, the situation has become even more difficult for women, with targeted killings of activists and women in professions across the country. By posting these propaganda videos on social media, the government intends to recruit more, to accomplish this village-to-village guerrilla war, and to convince international donors for further funding. But in this deeply traditional and patriarchal society, women barely join the police, simply because of the judgments in society and the lack of trust. And every woman who signs up counts as a huge success for the government. Four years ago, Momina joined the police after watching a promotional video. But what she says she experienced was very different. Survivors rarely speak out and Mumina's story is upsetting. Mumina says her boss told her to spend the night with police officials. She refused and asked the local intelligence office for protection. But later that night, she says she was forcibly taken to the police station. Witnesses told the BBC that an hour before Mumina was taken, intelligence forces went to protect her. But it led to a fire exchange that wounded another soldier near Mumina's house. That night, Mumina says she escaped her hometown, leaving everything behind to save her own life. She spent the next six months seeking justice, but a court found the accused not guilty. The police chief says the allegations are baseless. It was then that she decided to set herself on fire, in public. 
مافتم من ما چی کار کنم که بور خود کشیکو ما وقت نخود کشی کردم و تاریم ما از اینجا پداشتم. هکم پنج صد روپیه رفتم از پیش و تله قرض کردم و مادم. هم پنج صد روپیه تله گرفتم. مامور تایید کرد و مامور تایید کرد. وقتی کتاب من نداشتم. This is her in tears and soaked in petrol in the city square in March last year. The crowd stopped her just as she was about to ignite herself. حال کنن ما چه من کجا بوری آدم از از انسانی که می‌آبرو هستیم انسان وقتی که آبرو انسان لکدارش هستیم انسان لکدارش خود کشی برای انسان چی می‌مانا داره دیوون خود کشی می‌کنه بر خود خودش می‌دونه دیگه چند دولت برای چند دیگه بال که خوب شد. The judge in Romanes case said she didn't provide enough evidence for a conviction and that he didn't tell her to kill herself. The incident allegedly happened here in Kijran. A disconnected district in Daikundi, one of the most remote provinces in central Afghanistan, where the rule of law and access to justice is challenged by the presence of powerful men and armed groups. Complaints about sexual abuse do not only arise in the remote parts of the country. The situation in capital Kabul is even worse. هر آن جایی که دو جنس مخالف کار بکنه تا بن کازار از یه تابیز جنسیتی وجود دارد. حسنا جلیل است the first female deputy interior minister in Afghanistan. Even for a woman in such a high position, it has been a battle to be accepted in this male-dominated ministry. But she says the ministry is now committed to bring change. تصمیم مزیادی گرفتیم. چون اگر ای بار اینار از یه رزیت میکنه، این آدم میتونه بار دوم کسی دیگه ای را آزار ازیاد بکنه با او خاطر ما نیاز داریم که صفوف و پاکاری بکنیم We spoke to several police women who experienced sexual abuse on duty but say they never reported it to protect their dignity, honor and career The government admits this is an issue اعتماد سازی یک پروسی طولانی است به خاطر ازی است که خانوم ها باید به چشم خود ببینن که اینجا یک قضیه اتفاق افتی و یک قضیه موفقانه پیش رفت و در این زمان محافظت لازم برای بعد از صدا کشیدن یک قربانی برش داده شد. But this won't reassure those who experience sexual abuse on a daily basis. این یعنی خاطراتی که من از این پولیس دارم شما باور به خدا کنیم که من تا زنده هستم مثل یک کابوس در پیش چشم من میه. ای قدر وحشت ناکست. یعنی این همه قبر شما میگم که وضعیت پولیس زن در افغانستان بسیار خراب است. یک کارت خوبیت ماست. وزارت داخل از آمده. 27 year old single mother Fatima has decided to go public. She recently went on to Facebook to publicly allege three of her bosses demanded sex from her. وزی سای داخل رئی سای جمهور اگر ای ویدیو ای مره شما میبینید شما تشویق میکنین زنای پولیس ها که زنا بیاید در صفوف پولیس شما اول امنیتش رو بگیرید این قرار اصناف ما بر حلی هزیار جمع کردیم کل دیش هفت سال میشه که ما خدمت کردیم اما ما در اداره خودیم در بیرون از دست قاتل و راهزن مروز ندارم اما ما در محل وظیفه خود از دست عمر خود مروز ندارم وزیر زنار به داخله شما باید اول امنیت ما رو در محل وظیفه ما بگیرید Fatima says after two years of filing complaints, the system let her down. The government opened an investigation into her case, but only after she posted these videos, in which she resigns from the police and burns her police badge. <laughs> Police officials said she didn't have enough evidence to prove her claims against her superiors. She tells the BBC that what she can reveal is just the tip of the iceberg. باید باج بتیم. در غیر از اون محیط قرار بر ما تنگ میکنه. قرار تنگ میکنه که ما مجبور شویم که وظیفه را ایلا کنیم. خب ما وظیفه را ایلا کنیم. طفل ما چی بخوره؟ خانواده ما چی بخوره؟ کلای خانه خود ما از کجا کنیم؟
Most of the accused are powerful men backed by powerful sources and those who document cases of abuse in the police are under immense pressure by the suspects. One organization pressing the government to prosecute the attackers is Women for Afghan Women. من ما موارد را متاسفانه در جریان های سال 2019 و 20 داشتیم شاکی که وقت با ما پولیس مراجعه میکنن حتی ما رو تجاوز جنسی قرار گرفته قبل از انتقال به مراکز مایوی Some authorities are accused of covering up such cases to protect the reputation of the police قضیه تجاوزه که در داخل یک ارگان کشفی میشه به مراتب باید به شدت و به جدیت و در کمترین فرصت برش رسیدگی شود ما مورد را داشتیم که یازده ما را در بر گرفت که ما یک شکایت را ثبت کردیم علیه چهار نفر از منصوبین یکی از اوزای پلیس البته در خصوص خشونت تجاوز جنسی ما یک مثال شد برتان میگم ما یکی از موارد را داشتیم یک مشکل در یکی از اوزای پلیس خواسته بودن خانم از طرف شو دختر خانم مراجعه کرده بود شکایت داشت او را گفته بود که ما می خواهیم ثابت بسازیم که خودت مرتکب جرم نشده باشی اقدام کردن که خانم ها در داخل یکی از اوزای پلیس معاینات بدلی بکنه It is impossible to know how many women have been victims of sexual abuse in the police. But a report by the UN Mission in Afghanistan in 2013 claimed 70% of police women said they had personally experienced sexual harassment. According to the New York Times, the report was distributed among officials, but it was never published. In a 2019 report, Afghanistan's Human Rights Commission announced that at least 7% of women in armed forces said they were sexually harassed by their male colleagues and superiors. A key reason why the government couldn't increase the number of women in the armed forces. Even talking about rape and sexual abuses is still a taboo in Afghanistan and in most cases, the society blames victims not the perpetrators. دلیل کلانی که اینا صدایشون رو بلند نمی‌کنن وقتی که ما مطالعه کردیم یک مسئله محرمیت است و مسئله دومی است که ما مو ذهنیت نداریم که کسی صدا بلند بکنه. حمایت لازمه وقتی که کسی مثلا اگه من قربانی میشم، قربانی یا تبعیض یا آزار اذیت جنسی میشم، من نیاز به به حمایت دارم، به تایید یک تعداد در چهار طرف خود دارم، در چهار اطراف خود دارم. اونو حمایت اینا حتی از فامیل خود نمیگیرن و این یک یک حقیقت جامعه افغانستان است بخوایم نخوایم و حتی قضایایی را ما داریم که فامیلشان گفته که باید منصرف شوند Back in Daikundi Momena continues her quest for justice She shows the amount of documents she had gathered for her case Papers she says gave her nothing but yet more sorrow and trauma تراز مو رفته دیگه تا توالی و قماندان تا منجرگشت هیچ کس داد مو نرسه دیگه اوکی جان چه امنیت نداشتم به خاطر از اون من جامدم وظیفه می خورم اینجا خدمتی گرفتم تا این بس تا خود مرکز که جان هستم اینجا خدمتی هستم که شاید اینجا یک منطقه امن هست همین جام امنیت داشته باشم اما اینجا که متاسفانه امنیت ندارم که اونا چون اونا نفره قوی هستم قدرتمندم پول دارم زورورم می تانه کار بکنم ما دم خاطر ام هر لحظه هر ثانیه ما احساس خطر می کنم Over the past two decades, the government has invested huge amounts of time and money for Afghan forces to stand on their own feet. But as questions about safety and accountability in the workplace continue, the progress of women in the military could be under threat. Fatima and Mumina both are remarkably brave speaking up. A perception in the society is that victims of sexual abuse themselves are tarnished in some way. Despite pressures and intimidations to drop their petitions, they say they would never give up in the fight for their rights. ما تا آخره از گپ خود از شکایت خود منصرف نمیشم حتی با قیمت جانم تمام شوه ما حاضر هستم خود قربانی کنم اما دیگه زنا مثل ما قربانی نشون 
خاگ استم ام زیر قانستان استم میخوایم دا با آره خامیم کشیده بعد چیزی که وظیفه دمای جاد میکنم و مرد میخوایم که انجام بدم.